Hi, my name is Daisy Boyer, and I'm a professional educator in the early childhood education field. Um, and today I wanna to talk a little bit about the dispositions that make me a successful teacher. Um, some of those dispositions that I think that I need to make more of a priority. And then what I consider expectations of a professional within this field to be. Um, and the dispositions that make me a successful teacher are first and foremost, I believe that all students can learn. Um, with this, realistic expectations are the key. When we differentiate learning for each individual student, that's when we can set those realistic expectations that are individualized so that every child can learn. Um, equity is also super important to me, um, and, and that's the difference between equity and equality I always try to strive for. Um, equality is everybody gets the same thing, but equity means um, that everybody gets what they need and everybody doesn't need the same thing. So equity is super important to me um, within my profession and in my field. Um, advocating for needs, I am really, really passionate about that. Confidentiality, fairness in all areas, promoting curiosity um, within this environment for children is a passion of mine. I always tell parents that if I don't send their child home dirty and tired, I haven't done um, them justice within the classroom and learning environment. I haven't done my job. Um, my job is to promote that curiosity and that passion and really open their eyes to a whole new world of learning and um, fun and excitement. Um, this is really about um, encouraging active learning, play-based learning. We can learn all the skills that we need for a successful academic career um, right in pre preschool with playing with play-based learning, and that is a very big passion of mine. Um, I am pretty successful in modeling appropriate behavior, attitudes, language, skills, um, and I also am pretty successful with professional friendliness, warmth, caring and relationships with others, not only for my students and my parents, but my teams, my families, and my colleagues as well. Um, some things that I need to work on and, and I think it's realistic that every professional needs to um, adjust, assess themselves and take a look at what they need because we're always learning and we're always growing. Um, I say that my number one is time management, um, keeping track of deadlines and my calendar. I need to take more personal accountability doing this. I have an amazing assistant right now who really does keep me on track and says, hey, don't forget. Um, and, and I'm super appreciative of that, but I do need to take more uh, accountability for myself. Um, community involvement and their importance. Sometimes we get so stuck in our classroom and then the day-to-day -day stuff that we don't think beyond, beyond our classroom. And, and I'm really doing a disservice um, to myself and to my students for um, not opening up and thinking about the community and ways that I can get them involved. Um, committed to my own continued education and training outside of my master's program. Um, I have been guilty of thinking and saying, I don't need that training. I feel proficient. I'm knowledgeable. I, I, don't, I don't think I need that. But after learning about ethical behaviors and attitudes, um, I really realized that I'm not helping myself by doing that. There is always something new to learn. Um, there is always room to grow. And, and we as educators are lifelong learners. Um, and another thing that I really could strive to do better with is embracing cultural diversity within, um, within the community uh, for my classroom. I don't tend to get a lot of diversity within my classroom, and so um, I can use the community to do this. And again, it's just being aware um, of myself and in ways that I can improve. Um, the expectations of a professional within this field, <clears throat> um, excuse me, are a combination of my personal expectations and those expectations that have been expected of me um, and that I have also upheld since I've been within this field um, nearly t uh, 10 years now. I fell into the preschool world and, and I fell in love and that is my number one right there. Um, love and compassion. You have to know that this is more than a job we get to wake up and do every day. Um, we are often reminded that we are not in this field to make the money, to make the big bucks. So I fully believe that as a professional, your heart, your heart's gotta be in it to do this job. Um, 
and um, it <laughs> this field is not for the faint of heart and I think it's that love and that compassion and that commitment that you have that really gets you through those hard times those hard days um, those hard moments and even sometimes those hard years because they happen uh, I am frequently hard on myself. Uh, per perfection is something that I demand of myself quite frequently, um, but it's not something that's really attainable. Uh, it actually sets you up for failure, and I think having realistic expectations uh, of yourself is uh, something every professional needs to think about, um, as well as for our students. Um, we have realistic expectations of our classrooms and our students and our parents, our staff, our administrators, um, but we need to remember to have realistic, attainable goals and expectations for ourselves as well. Um, over the years, I've learned that perfect is something that you do not need to be. Um, but if your heart is in it uh, and you strive for better, actively strive for better, I wanna stress that word actively because teaching isn't passive. And if you are passive in your teaching, you're in the wrong field. Um, teaching is hands-on, 100% of the time, 100% all in, actively striving for better. Co being committed to pursuing and modeling ethical behavior, everything else will fall into place with time and practice. Uh, when people first meet me, the first thing they see is my smile. I've been compared to the sunshine um, because I have the ability to be warm, um, smiling and bright, even in those hard times. I think it's an important trait to have as a professional. We are in the early childhood world. Sometimes a child's first exposure to school or an environment outside of their home is with us. And that's a big deal. It's a big responsibility. Um, I'm going to continue to uphold these expectations as a professional in the early childhood um, world as an educator to the best of my ability. I am going to continue to be reflective, accountable, and honest with myself about my strengths, my goals, and my commitment to this field. Um, so that I can continue my journey advocating for student rights, bringing families together, collaborating in education, opening young minds, watching them grow, um, and setting them up for the most successful start their educational career. Thank you for joining me today.